Hey everyone, Wanabot here, and welcome back to Shattered Planet. So, uh, we've got a baseball bat today, which does a fair amount of damage and a 50% chance of knockback, so that's pretty good. And an infantry helmet, which, uh, blunt resist. Not exactly the most useful thing, most things use, seem to use sharp. But, you know what, we'll see how far we get. We also have three orange juice, which, I mean, not as good as the, like, mysterious fruit that we were running around with the last time. But, eh, it's a good enough perk if you ask me. Uh, it's just... Hope that we can make something of it. And we've already found the teleporter, which is pretty good providence, because I want to get as far as we can on this daily run. Ideally, eventually we start making it to distance 10, and, you know, then re really start racking in the stuff. I think at that point I might tweet about it, because, you know, I'm a narcissistic bastard and can brag about things, right? Okay, so, wow, these guys move fast. Luckily, I wallop for quite the wallop. And looks like we get some crystal right off the bat, which is good, because I want to keep collecting the good gear. And while we're here, grab the juice, and grab the secret thing. Even though there has yet to be much of a reason to ever go out here, but, you know. It, like, it would be cool if you got one and, you know, maybe it had a healing item or a temporary stat boost or something. But as it stands, eh, most of the time I actually just kind of ignore those, because it never really seems like there's much of a need. Oh boy. The blight is coming in fast. I better hurry. Hopefully we can find the teleporter soon? I mean, real. Oh. Shoot. That was bad. I thought they'd only hang out where the where the actual blight was, but I guess they get a little bit more adventurous than that. Even then, we haven't taken a whole heck of a lot of damage, which is good. Huh. Been a long time since I've been to the ice world, I think. Kind of hoping we can just immediately find the tell. Ooh, fat stacks of cash. I'll be satisfied. Just gotta miss. Oh, shit, that's a lot of damage. That, uh, okay, let's quickly quaff, like, half of our orange, all of our orange juice, not terribly surprisingly, and get the hell out of here, because dangerous things. Not entirely sure how many of these guys are violent, but would rather not find out. Okay, I'll just hide back here until he comes after me, because, ah, looks like they have, uh, engaged in a land battle between each other, which is cool. Luckily, the friendly version, friendly one, is actually friendly. Huh. Apparently I have an allergen gun. I am going to use and abuse that. There's also a skull here, which presumably I can use. Huh. Apparently I can throw it at something. Not entirely sure that if that's even going to be remotely useful, but, you know, we have it. So. Let's see. A shell is sitting next to me, tapping me and showing me Pokemon smut. Not entirely sure what's going on here. Let's use the teleporter and get out. Ow, we still got walloped. It's not. <laughs> you wanted me to cosplay something. Shell is planning a Pokemon cosplay. What is my life? <laughs> if you are uninitiated to my personal life, Shell is my co-commentator slash fiancé. She also did the impressions video with me. It should be obvious. Anyway, ooh, sweet, we can continue on. I was kind of worried about this for a second, considering I don't think you can do chemical damage to the robot people. You might be able to. Haven't exactly confirmed or denied that one. Let's just move forward and wall up this guy. Oh, sweet. I forgot. We're using the baseball bat. Actually makes things viable. Uh, I'm gonna toss these, because if I can get some healing... Nope, not gonna drink that one. What does this one do? I'm not entirely sure on what that one does. Ooh, that is actually healing. Well, let's get that in the bud, and then figure out wh how to leave. I guess it's up this direction. Because, yeah, if I... That's... that. Yeah, that put us at quite a fair bit of health, which is exactly what we needed. We took uh, a little bit from that one ice creature. It really hurt us, actually, come to think of it. But we're already on, what, distance 5? So that's pretty good. I usually don't spend scrap minor. Hmm. I don't think I'm... I think I'm going to save my scrap metal here. It looks like we've got... Oh, a rose bottle versus... Apparently there are multiple types of the same color bottle. Did not realize. Anyway, uh, I think we're going to be okay here. The blight does not seem to be traveling particularly fast. I'm going to go up here first, just in case it's on this one, because... Yep, there it is. Tally-ho, I guess. I was kind of hoping to explore, but it's far more valuable for us to go on to the next level, because... Well, free scrap. And... Potentially, even less enemies, because... Maybe this is going to be one of those with no enemies, or... The, you know, nice guys that wander around walloping all the enemies for me. The answer is no. Instead, it's the creepy plant creatures. At which point... Oh. Well... This is going to be a problem. Uh, probably should have planned this out better. Oh, beautiful. Eat chemical damage, jerk. 
Baseball Bat, thank you very much for knocking things back, because I, I was thinking about it and it was like, Baseball Bat actually going to be very viable here. Okay. I'm just going to see if I can grab... ...and then run. Because there's dangerous, dangerous stuff back there, but we got another regen fluid, and we can leave onto Distance 7, which is great. Uh, I'm probably going to pop the regen fluid as soon as we get here. Yep, that seems like a good idea. Apparently the allergen gun... Oh. Shoot, the allergen gun actually has a number of charges, or... Once you use it, it runs out quickly. I did not realize these things had half-lives. Oh, no, it's a cooldown. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. Okay, well, let's see. I don't entirely know if you can poison a turret, but... You know what? We'll do it anyway. Probably actually should have saved that for something a little bit more necessary to chuck at, but oh well. We'll figure it out. Looks like we've got something dangerous here. I'm just gonna keep chucking mysterious- nope, that was a bad idea. At least we can kill it in two hits, and we find the teleporter. I'm gonna stick my head around just for a second. I wanna see how necessary. That's some pretty good stuff. Well, let's use the allergen gun. I don't entirely know if it hits machines. I guess it does. Well, that's a pretty damn good thing. And we get a lot of scrap for our troubles. I'd say that was worth it. I'm gonna keep peeking around. I don't know. Feeling risky. Not frisky. Risky. I could feel frisky, but you know, you know, I, I'm I'm gonna keep that out of I'm gonna keep that out of Shattered Planet. I I think you know the frisky freaking a freaky. Oh, there's a secret area. I I'm I'm just kind of asking for trouble at this point. I do have the thing, right? Please. Oh, nope. Those are guns. Never mind. See ya. Do not feel brave enough to fight them, because realistically, if I can get it to diff distance 10, or past distance 10, then I'm going to be very satisfied. Unfortunately, it seems like... Ow. Uh, it seems like I probably should have just charged the dude. Oh well. Let's see what happens when I throw Mr. Mystery Liquid at it. It sets everything on fire. Well, I'm just going to hang out back here until the ground is not on fire anymore. It didn't do that much damage, but I can also use the allergen gun. Because I want to take this thing down as much as possible and take it out in one hit. Still got hit a couple times by it, but, you know, less effort on my part and we don't have to worry about things killing me as quick. We're still probably going to get picked up by a murder bot, and that's going to be the end of us, but... Ah, computer terminal. Download destroy. Viral life form. Information parasite. Uh, let's destroy it. There we go. We get some fate. Cool. Never seen one of those before. And I probably shouldn't have gone this direction, probably should have gone the other way. Oh well, Baseball Bat of Justice will do the trick. And it looks like, ah, well, looks like we can go on to Distance 9. I've never actually gotten this far before, which is, I, I think, I don't think I've ever made it this far. We might actually win this one. It's possible. I actually am having some level of trouble comprehending that. Okay, we have another Poison Vial, and this gun is actually pretty good. And looks like that's Crystal down here. I don't see any enemies either, which is pretty good. And our health is doing pretty fantastic, too. Just gotta find that teleporter, because if I can get down to distance 10, we're gonna have an interesting time of it. Surrender, human. I am king, says a small voice. You look and see a tiny worm in the fat flowers. Yes! You are king. Good choice. Now we've got even more fate. And apparently we are a worm vassal. Oh, and we are in the friendly zone. Oh, looks like friendly man was not gonna help me out there. Oh well, not that big of a deal. Let's see what I can spend my scrap on. I'm gonna buy a cookie just because we're, we've made it th this far and if I can make it just a little bit further then we're gonna be in a really good spot. Should I eat the cookie? The answer is not yet. I'm gonna wait till I get hit at least once more. Looks like I'm gonna have to backtrack a little bit too. Quite a lot, really. Damn. Is, I'm not entirely sure how to leave. Oh, well. I guess that was the world's shortest level. I guess I probably could have explored a little bit more, but we're going on to distance 10. Which could be bad, could be good. We'll see. Explore. Yeah, so this looks to be quite the... No, I don't want to jump down. What are you, crazy? So this is definitely good. This means we can start actually making it this far down on our own. Actually, this is probably one of the more underpowered runs we've had as far as a daily run goes. Considering the baseball bat... The baseball bat is four star. But the soldier helmet is two star. Hmm. That's tempting. I'll think about it. I, I kind of want to find loot, especially because we're, I assume, distance 10 is the max. I've never gone further. Let's see if Mr. Quadruped is 
gone, because I'd like him to be. Watch him just, like, leaped off the edge and... Well, never mind. That's... Wait, no, that's not what we want to do. We want to... Toxic ooze. Throw it there. Oh, shit. I screwed that one up. I baseball batted him backwards, which was a terrible idea. Apparently we get some stuff for that, too. And considering we're injured, I'm going to... Eat the cookie. Wait for the poison to go away. Get this thing. Back off. Shatterer. Hmm. Don't think I want to use it. Let's just do that chemical gun. And keep walloping the horse. Because apparently beating the horse when it's not dead is actually an effective maneuver. That was a complete and utter wa waste of time, but at least I get to get a couple of funny quips in. Let's see what happens when I go past distance 10. Simulation complete! Yeah! Platinum medal, 80 crystals, and all of that starting gear. Which we'll just carry on over to the next run, because, I don't know, I'm feeling pretty successful. Sweet. We've got a lot of stuff, too. What can I buy? DNA extractor, teleporter tracker, or a grenade. <laughs> grenade. Creates, uh, explosives. Creates a small fun zone. I like that. that that's a really nice tagline there. Okay. Uh, apparently we get a crown. Minus 8 wits, plus 30 fate. Traditionally used to mark those born with more luck than sense. Adorable. That's a really nice tagline. And what's this one? And a rusty machete. Classy. Uh, let's see what this one is. <laughs> oh, it's a Johnny Five hat. That's adorable. Uh, number five goggles. Plus 16 wits. Applies robot disguise. Covers up any hideous human sight organs. That's, that's pretty fantastic, I have to say. I'm really impressed with that. And a hat. Let's just keep pouring our crystal in, because, I mean, really, there's no reason why not to. And... What do we get? Newspaper. So, not exactly the best stuff ever. And seeing as we were running around with a baseball bat, which is pretty darn good, let's pick out something that's a little bit more... comparable. Let's see. Not the bucket. Not the welding mask. Welding mask... Ooh, actually, welding mask is tempting. Yeah, let's go with the welding mask. I've never done the welding mask before, and I, we might be able to just one-shot things. But put back that infantry helmet, because it's not as good. Is there anything, actually, that would be better? I mean, we could go complete balls to the wall here. Let's put back the baseball bat, too. So, uh, yeah, seeing as we just did a baseball bat run anyway. Put two more points into our strength, and get the heck out of dodge with our extremely overpowered... Wait. Apparently I can do the daily run again. Oh, the temptations. But, you know what? I'm not going to bother with that because we just did a daily run. The daily run. So, you, I, I'm going to do that off camera because you guys probably don't care to say the exact same thing over again. Even though that's exactly how this game works. Either way, I switched up the equipment. So, it'll be at least remotely interesting. Hey, we get a, one of those crab hats. Well, uh, we're just murdering the shit out of everything. This is pretty darn effective. Pretty happy with it, honestly. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, and there's grab. Had to do a very short in interlude while we murdered a fly. Because it was big, it was buzzing, and it was running into everything in a room and not leaving. You know, kind of wish insects would just learn. Humans, not exactly the best thing to live around. I mean, sure, mites, I guess, have a fair amount of survival chance just because we can't freaking see them. But, uh, ooh. I could get the random access helmet, but I do not have the cash for it. Also, realistically, I'm not going to survive long enough to get there and, well, survive long enough to get there. I'm probably going to die before we, you know, hit distance 10 again, because as lucky as we were with the daily run, I'm not entirely sure if we're going to make it th that far this time around. Th that was only distance 1, and that took us quite a while. Either way, let's just continually one-shot crabs, because this is exactly why I've been point pushing, like, all of my stats straight into strength, because it seems like a much more viable strategy than trying to, you know, have balanced stats or anything like that, right? So, we've got crabs, we've got crabs galore. I'm gonna come back for this one, take him out first so he doesn't sneak up behind me and stab me in the butt, because that's not an appreciated circumstance. Just keep murdering everything. Now we're gonna have a guard crab to deal with. See if I can... Yeah, there we go. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, and a missed. This is where things start going wrong. Oh well, we killed it anyway, and we got a doohickey! Paint the town... Ooh. I think that creates crablets, which is a little bit on the... Huh. <laughs> well, okay, so first I think this creates crablets, which could be cool, could be bad. Anyway. Flirtomancy. 
you turn the skull over in your hands and jump as it winks at you flirtatiously. Well, you know, I said I wasn't going to get ran Randy or Frisky, but we're going to wink the hell out of the skull because, you know what? I like advances. Skull melts away with a crystalline chime that tinkles like laughter. Sweet! And we get a thing. We get an Earthshaker staff. I'll have to figure out what that does. First, let's go break this crystal. I don't think I've found the teleporter yet. I don't think. Oh, we did find the key to the secret area, though. So, we're going on adventures, which actually had uh, useful stuff for us once. Cool. Anyway, uh, it's... Nope. Uh, you see the skull from before, wearing lipstick. It blinks, as if batting non-existent eyelashes. Let's kiss it. And we get a gift box. Sweet. I'm gonna use it. And apparently, yep, that, that's actually a fair amount of scrap. I'm pretty happy with the circumstances of kissing that skull. See? Clearly. Just accept all advances from all mysterious life forms on alien planets. Uh, I, le I learned from the best. Captain, Captain John T. Kirk, I think? Yeah. No, James T. Kirk. What am I saying? Anyway, I could get, get a cookie. I'm gonna get a cookie. Now we've got like a butt ton healing item, so assuming I don't get insta-gived by anything, I'm not entirely sure why I'm even going over this direction apart from the fact that I can, and considering that's a crablet nest, I don't even care. Let's just go. We know where the teleporter is. There's no reason to stick around. See ya! And I think as soon as we land on the next level, I guess I'm gonna munch this cookie. And I'm going to murder this crablet, get a shovel. Wow, we've got quite the repertoire of stuff. I should s probably start slinging mystery liquid at things. It seems like that would be a viable strategy. To oh, wow. The purple crablets are really coming after me. Let's see what happens when I summon a normal crablet all the way over there. Kapew! That'd be kind of cool if we killed the other one. Probably not, though. You find a young girl's diary, private, is written on the cover. Do not read. Burn if found. Well, we're reading it this time. Anything. Seems a girl traveled dimensions and tamed demons. You take her magic words. Well, that's awesome. Apparently, we can use this on things. Hopefully, it's... Oh, inventory is full. Well, in that case, time to chuck mystery liquids at things. Oh, that one does strength. That one does... I don't even know what. This one does... Healing. Okay. Kind of wish I had that, but oh well. That one... Also healing. This one does... Explosions. Well, we're never going back that direction. Hopefully we didn't need to. Uh, things usually, you know, cross-intersect, so it should be okay. I hope. Kind of suck if I, you know, screwed myself over there, but does not look like that's the case. So we could explore a little bit more. Well, I'm not seeing anything, so let's just go for the teleporter because... Well, you always get better loot on the later levels anyway. So... Okay, looks like we've got these guys around. Unfortunately, they're kind of in the way. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to just write off that scrap, because I'm never getting that one back. I think this dark one is actually going to try and murder me. I really don't want to figure that one out, but I, I... Yep. Well. Death, I guess. He didn't even get a hit in on me, and apparently he was a different type of thing, so I actually got science for that. Sweet! Okay, I should actually pay attention and use that book at some point. Figure out what that does. Well, probably should have just left, but hey, here's the thing. Let's touch the rock. Get some wits for it. Sweet. And now we actually know what all the mystery liquids do, so that's actually pretty good. And we get more. It's probably not all the mystery liquids, come to think of it now. Oh well, doesn't matter. That, that's kind of why I stuck around on this level. We've got a full inventory again, but could potentially have some fun with it. Let's go on to distance five, because again, the rewards are always best when you get to the bottom. Not entirely sure why that makes the most amount of sense, but I, I guess, you know, the bigger the challenge, the bigger the reward. But from, like, an RPG standpoint, why is it always that, like, you have to go to the very, very end of the game to get the very best equipment? It doesn't make any sense to me, because, you know, why can't there be this, like, super magical, ultra-rare sword hiding just, you know, in a castle somewhere? You know, why, why can't the kingdom that you initially start off with have really good equipment because it looks super prosperous, and why wouldn't they have good stuff there to sell to you, you know, oh, young adventurer. I don't know, but, you know, it's always just like, oh, well, we've got, like, the wooden sword and the wooden shield because our entire military is stupid and under-equipped, and that's obviously why there's this crisis to begin with. If I, if I sound a little bitter, blame Dragon Warrior. Never could quite understand why things were just so, uh, awkwardly... Uh, why did I wait there? Oh, well, it doesn't matter that much. 
Murder. And we got a we got a thing. What can I what can I use? Okay. I'll use this one. And I'll use this one. That'll be good. And apparently, we get aloe vera. Sweet. Time to murder these things. Probably a good idea. Okay, you're dying. Well, I'm glad I picked up or drank all of those things because we kind of needed it. We do uh, get a lot of scrap for our, our trouble, so that's actually pretty good. I'm gonna just use more regen fluid. It's working out pretty well. I could get the rusty machete, but I really don't think we need it. This is X. Actually better. Sweet. So let's see where we can go. Fortunately, the poison is starting to really travel to places that we don't want to be, but that's okay because we don't need to go there. Hmm. Normally I wouldn't bother, but he didn't get a hit in, and there's some interesting stuff down here. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to explode that, which should. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to harvest the bush. The bush gave me smelly fruit. Let's throw it at that thing. Apparently it's poison. Sweet. Bush that stank to high heaven. What else can I huck at this guy? Let's throw a crablet at him. Have a crab. Well, that didn't work out for me. Uh, well, I guess we're just going to have to murder it. Eh, it didn't take too much damage from it. We've got plenty of other stuff to make do. I was kind of hoping I could blow up both of them at the same time, but I managed to blow up one, so good enough. I probably should also use that one thing. Let's use this. Goes back up to full health. Probably should have used the orange juice instead. Wasn't exactly thinking about that. Oh well, it's not like we're going to make it out of here. Terribly harmed. We're, what, on distance 7 full health? Got a full inventory of stuff. This is what I would call a very lucky run. And I thought the previous run, you know, the daily run was a lucky one, but no. This takes the cake. We've got so much juice. Should probably use some of it. Let's just throw that one over there, see what happens. Fire! Well, I just burnt down the savanna. Makes me feel kind of bad right now. Oh well. Uh, I guess just destroying nice places. Oh. Let's use this, seeing as we're here. Stopping blight growth while I screw around and see what's going on. Because there's a lot going on, and I'm kind of... I'm, I'm in an explorative mood. I, I like trying out new things today. Oh, everything is on fire, apparently. Wow. I really did a number on this place. I'm kind of glad I did. I did kind of murder a lot of people. Well, you're in the way, and you're going to die. I feel, I feel really bad. I, I kind of destroyed a wonderful natural habitat, but... Man, it made my life e easy. Really glad I just slung the mystery liquid off into the wild blue yonder. Now, I think we're going to have to deal with the blight here, which is kind of super bad, so let's drink some more. Because drinking solves all of your problems, right? And figure out where the exit is, because it's probably over this direction. Out of my way, Mr. Mutant Man. Do oh, shoot. Well, not entirely sure why M Mr. Mutant Man wasn't going to fight him for me, but I guess they only fight certain types of enemies. Frustrating, but not surprising. It looks like there's a lot of loot around here, too. So, let's get here, kill this guy before he poisons, poisons me, because that would be unfortunate. Drink some orange juice since we're here, and go down to the next level. Yeah, we're definitely going to finish th this run, too, which means we're going to carry all of this loot back through with us, which is great. Does mean we should probably start looking into doing a uh, higher difficulty level soon, because pretty soon, base, base level, I'm going to be kind of boring for us. Daily run, still going to be the main meat of the series, though, because daily run is where the, I don't know, meat of the rewards are. You pretty much always get a five-star item for it. So if you can manage to defeat the run, well, then you're pretty wealthy. Do I have the key? No, the key's right there, but I do not have a thing. What can I do? Uh, trash that. Put the helmet on. Actually, strength wits. Wits. Yeah, no. kind of want to go to the secret area. But I'm, instead, I'm just going to go here. Come on. Okay. I guess they're just not going to bother me. I guess there's so much scrap here that I just want it, but, uh, hmm. Let's try using the book. Oh, apparently we summoned a demon. Cool! That works for me. Pick this, this one up. Uh, plus 10 strength for a couple turns. We are going to befriend this demon. Because, friendly. With some effort, you overcome your revulsion, petting it, and soothing your new friend. You know, realistically, that demon looks far cooler to me than, you know, most of the other enemies. I guess all of them look pretty cool. Oh, demon is sad. Demon is dead, too. 
which is kind of unfortunate. And apparently we get some kind of weird mystery gun. Well, let's set fire to everything. Pick this thing up, because I'm not sure what it does. And then get out of here before we get set on fire. Drink this, because the blight is probably coming. Target is teleported. Ah, that's what that does. Now, how injured are we? 72 out of 125. Let's just quaff our orange juice, I guess. Because everything is burning. Hey, apparently the fire didn't come out this direction. And seeing as everything is on fire, I can just kind of check this out casually and not have to worry about taking any taking any damage or doing anything stupid like that. Looks like there is nothing, but it did manage to... Oh, right! I have heat resistance. I'm immune to fire, potentially. I think so. I hope so, because that would be cool. Anyway, let's grab the key. Keep going, because, yeah, Blight is not here yet, and I feel adventurous. Mainly because I can one-hit everything. When you can one-hit everything, nothing becomes... Nothing is dangerous at all. We're gonna attack it, punch, kick, and apparently we get some strength points for that. Sweet. Feel kind of bad because I probably just walloped an innocent creature, but, uh, you know, it probably deserved it. Jump Master. Not entirely sure what that achievement does. And apparently we go to the Tribal Graveyard. Cool. Never been here before. Did you know you turn left more often than you turn right? Interesting. Huh. And we get that, which is kind of useless. What else can we do? Can explode stuff. Uh, oh yeah. No, I don't want to quaff that. Don't want to drink that. Really don't need aloe vera, honestly. Not entirely sure what smelly fruit does either. Oh right, poison. Well, at least we didn't impede our progress, which is great. Just kind of exactly what I was hoping for, because uh, we kind of suck to just throw something down like fire and then just realize I can't go anywhere. That would that'd be hilarious. But unfortunate. We've got a lot of skulls. I should see what happens if I chuck one. Oh, hey, we got we got some oh hello. You're not friendly. I forgot. And now we can drink the last of our orange juice. Now let's go talk to this person. Let us haggle. What happens when we haggle? We get a tribal mask. Cool. We've only had you know a need for it, but hey, we got it. And we only have to go one more distance, and we've got at least three healing items, so I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good here. Apparently, cannot do anything with the grave. Not surprisingly, but just kind of hoping. Huh. You're probably going to be. Oh. Kind of messed that one up. Anyway, ooh, what's this thing? I'm just gonna huck the skull. See what happens. Nothing happens when you huck the skull, so let's drop that. Uh, keep dropping. Pick this thing up, cause it. Oh, wow. Defense 4, plus 20 wits, plus 20 fate. We are equipping this, because we look terrifying. And watch everybody just run screaming in fear. The answer is no, but it would have been kind of funny. The angling on it is a little weird for me. Oh, well, uh, let's, let's see what I can do. I'm just going to drop the shovel. I really don't need it. And I'd rather carry some, like, cool equipment back with me to store away for a rainy day, because at this point... I would be flabbergasted if we didn't manage to win this run wholehandedly, because, you know, I, I thought that daily run was going to be really good. Not the case. This is far better. Let's just use the aloe vera. I'm not going to carry it with me. And apparently, ooh, wow. That's even better than the current weapon I'm using, I believe. By a large amount. Attacks with blight, carved in... Well, looks like I have suddenly become a necrotic warrior. This is not... The path I was expecting to take in life, but you know what? When life gives you lemons, you summon a demon from the depths of hell and destroy everything in your path because that is the way things are done. Apparently, I have two of them too, so we can we can keep doing this. Awesome! I'm gonna have a crab hat to bring with us, assuming we find the teleporter and don't just get instantly murdered by something, which would you know, highly unlikely. Well, let's just drop this. We don't need it. So now I've got three of these freaking swords. Like, why? Why? I don't even know, but I'm very happy for it, because it makes makes me feel like this is going to be a very successful loot-finding run. Oh. Wow. That does a fair amount of damage. I have a lot of scrap, too. I have made it out of here very, very handily. I wonder if... Uh-oh. Oh, good. I can't actually leave. That was concerning, just for a second there. Uh, and there's the teleporter, so that's... I think that's pretty much it for this area. Yeah! Wow, that that was far less than I was expecting. I guess there's this thing over here. So I'm, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to be gutsy. And the answer is, oh, there's more. Well, uh, come on, get out of my way. Because we do have to worry about... Ah, here's why I stuck around. 
Alter speaks softly. Truth is self-indulgence. To love is to deceive. Lies are strength. Yeah, no. And apparently, science is truth. Yes, we're scientists. We win. Let's see what else. There's nothing else. But we got a cool event for it, so I'm pretty happy with ourselves. Myself, mostly. You guys, I don't know. You didn't really have much of a hand in the decision-making process, but I will give you some of the credit, too, because y'all are awesome. And we just beat this run. A lot of stuff, too. Cool. Nope. Distance 11. This is not what I was expecting. I was really hoping we could save our loot. Guess not. I wonder how far we can go. Ah, that, that suddenly makes things interesting. I wonder if there's a point of carrying all of this gear around. I should just tweet the developer in the middle of the game and be like, So, is there like a maximum distance, or can I just keep going like a crazy person? Looks like crazy person. Crazy person. There we go. Because I'm carrying all sorts of like awesome loot with me, but I have no idea how to keep it. I hope I can keep it. Uh, I don't think it shot me. Yeah, can't shoot me through the bushes. This is success. And looks like we've got him over there, but mm, it's not worth it. Let's just hope we don't have to go past that one. If we do, then... Oh, wait, I've got a teleportation gun if I need it. But we found the teleporter, so it does not matter. Because I can just leave. Because, yeah, I mean, there's sure, sure there's loot on this level. But I want to see how far we can go. Because, I mean... I... I... I have never been this far. Okay. I think we... Gonna want to go this direction. Yes, there's a gun. But if I can go here, if I can go here, well, this is dumb. Uh, oh, and apparently it's out of charges. Apparently the crablet fabricator is actually a rechargey item too. Well, you know what? We've got healing items, so close enough, right? Right. Let's just hope we didn't have to go the other direction because that would be unfortunate and annoying. But you know. Either way, that's probably a gun, too. I, I, I'm i just avoiding the guns, because they're they're jerks. They actually have ranged attacks, unlike everything else in this game. And it's a vending machine. Nope, never mind, it's a mimic. What is that thing? Uh, What can we get rid of that we don't need? Crablet hat's okay. I'm going to get rid of the crablet fabricator. That's not so good. What is this? Defense with fate. Hmm, physical resist. like it. So, we've got one of these robot guys. Kind of wish I had a robot disguise, but I do not. We've got this thing for Blight, but, uh, hmm. I guess I'm going to get rid of the local teleport gun. We don't really have much of a use for that, either. Uh-oh. I don't remember what this thing does, but it does really crazy damage. I'm just going to drink that and really hope for the best here. We might actually die. Oh, we killed it. It's the first time I've ever killed one of those, but uh, probably was not worth it. Ow. Uh, let's see if I can get a power modulator, too. Hello. Oh, wait, no. Those heal. Shit. Uh, well, we have no healing, and we're going to get gimped by a robot. Let's see if I can shrine. Uh, pray. We get some fate. Awesome. Too bad we are very much dead. Damn. I was hoping I could carry all that stuff with me, but we've made it to, what, distance 13? That's fantastic. We made a lot of scrap from that. Unfortunately, we did not get to keep any of the items, which I was kind of hoping you'd hit distance 10, be able to keep all the items. Not the case. Anyway, can I buy two of these? The answer is no. Uh, I should probably put points into other things, too, even though really probably not that useful. Anyway, uh, we're doing pretty well across the board. Actually, not as much crystals as I was expecting. I guess we got more from the daily run, but that is not surprising. And that was the axe we were carrying around. And that was... that's cool. So now we can get a third gold item. What is this? Omnicorp visor. Sweet. So, yeah, we, we could do another one of these if we really felt like it. But, you know, I think, I think I'm going to hold off on that because it's time for, uh, time for me to say goodbye for now. Because, well, it's like, what, 24, 25 minutes in? And that's always a good stopping point. So, I will see you guys on the next episode of Shattered Planet. And, as always, thanks for watching. Kinda wish I could have kept that stuff though. Would've been nice.